to get this out there so people know what he has done because I wouldn't be the little girl that you raised if I didn't. Every day he put on his unit, police uniform or firefighter's uniform, he taught me that you stand up for what's right and wrong. You stand up for the people that don't have a voice. How about you? Was it difficult to go public? It was at first because when it was a smaller group of us, um, they did not want to be public. They were really worried that I would expose their name. So not only did I lose those siblings for a while that I had bonded with, I was by myself. Mm -hmm. um, but I knew it was something I had to do. He virtually had no criminal penalty for this at all. He got some probation for obstruction of justice. Yes, correct. Just for lying, right? Correct. But nothing for the actual act correct. Of, correct. of doing what he did. And having spent most of my professional career in the litigation arena, I, I found that mind-boggling. For me, um, in my late 20s, when my wife and I tried to start having a family, I, too, learned that I was not able to have children. Uh, so before learning about Klein being my biological father, my wife and I went through that whole process. And... Um, you know, it was months and months of failure after failure, and just we broke down in tears and the financial investment. Uh, and, and eventually, you know, we went all the way to doing IVF using donor sperm. My kids were born in 2011, 2014. That's not that long ago, really. And, um, you know, we joked once or twice because we never had any tangible hold of the donation of the sperm. And um, to find out now that someone would just blatantly take it upon themselves to use their position as a physician to put material that a woman did not consent to, reproductive material, inside of them, it, there's nothing really more violating than that. But how do you feel it's like there's no penalty? I, I because if you, if you look at it right now, it said, here's this guy that did this. He did, he, he violated 70 women. Let's just assume, we use that number because it's a working current hypothesis number. Right. And violated 70 women, consequence, None. zero. Mm -hmm. That's how it writes out, yeah. zero. Yeah. It, ain't, it makes me very angry. Um, and that's another thing that ties to my past trauma. Um... Because when I was violated as a teenager, there's no justice for that either. Mm -hmm. um, so that part of it really affected me too. Mm -hmm. Makes me sick to my stomach. It makes me angry. I feel like I don't matter. It's just all those feelings all over again. And, of course, their explanation for it is that there was no law specific to this specific crime because nobody thought what person would do that. Julie is another biological child of Dr. Klein. For years, her family thought that Klein used her father's sample. She says her dad was devastated, and her mom, Diana, says she doesn't speak about the issue with her husband since the news broke. Now, Julia and Diana are joining us via Skype. 